New tonight, the Madison County Sheriff is turning to his jail's TVs to help reform criminals. So he's making inmates watch less cable TV and more motivational programs. As News 8's Tim McNicholas reports, it's a new program launching later this year. Inmates in Madison County have access to basic cable TV for about 13 hours every day. They pick the shows. The sheriff says when his new plan launches, he'll control the programming about half the time. And during that period, the TVs will only air programs aimed at getting inmates to turn their lives around. You're looking at a jail built with 207 beds. The sheriff says some nights his team squeezes in more than 300 inmates. Security video from last year shows one inmate shove another off a balcony. Having some type of, of, of television programming is just absolutely essential. Sheriff Scott Mellinger says the inmates would misbehave even more without TV privileges. And it is basic cable, but still there's a lot of what some of us might call trash on TV. Mellinger says later this year, inmates will start seeing videos on life skills, job skills, breaking bad habits and addictions. Each cell block will have a TV. Some of the videos will be related to faith. I've already worked with the faith community. They have stepped forward uh, huge in terms of uh, providing me with some, some video programs, either from their churches or from uh, nationally based uh, faith communities who, who go into prisons. Everybody's got to have a uh, motivation. Kevin Wilson says he spent about a day in the jail and is now in a work release program. He says he supports the plan. It gives people on the right track of uh, getting their life straightened out. The jail signed a deal with an Anderson company called Sine Wave Audio to work on the $36,000 system. Uh, none of this is being purchased with tax dollars. Mellinger says it's funded by the jail's commissary fund, which comes from inmates buying items like socks, underwear, and snacks from the jail. There will be some uh, some growing pains. We expect that. The sheriff says inmates will still be able to pick what they watch about half the time. He knows some inmates won't like the plan. Uh, worst case scenario is that uh, the offenders will be, be watching constructive TV versus whatever they choose on cable. The sheriff says he expects this program to launch in the next six to eight weeks. In Anderson, I'm Tim McNicholas, Wish TV News 8.